Texas Tech basketball back from the break from finals. First game back in 12 days, playing host to a very hot McNeese State team out of Lake Charles, Louisiana. First half we start, Josh Gray, the Lake Charles native, a little extra motivation, coast to coast, and the finish with the left hand. Two of his 15 points, no turnovers on the night for Gray. Still early first, again on the break. Jamal Williams to Jordan Tolbert, part of a 10-0 run. Tech up 12-4 early on. McNeese, though, hanging around, just a three-point ball game. Late first half, Trincy Jackson from the corner for three. Gets it back up six, Tech up five at the break. Second half now, more Trincy Jackson, 11 points for Trincy, seven of which in the first four minutes of the second half. Tech up 10, largest lead of the night. Daylon Robinson, no, but Tolbert there for the putback. Tech still up comfortably, up eight, five minutes into the second half. But here comes McNeese, 7-0 run, back within two. Gray, though, the steal and the finish. It's a 56-52 Red Raider lead. McNeese State, though. Shooting 60% in the second half. They tie it up. They take the lead up five now with six minutes to play. Dayon Kravich stops the bleeding. Bucket and the foul. Tech back within two. Down five again, though, with two minutes left to play. The steal and Williams at the other end. It's a 74-71 McNeese State lead. Next possession, Jay Crockett the drive. 17 points, 10 boards for Jay. It's a one-point ball game, but that's as close as they get as Tech. Having a hard time getting the ball in the bucket in the second half, just three for 18 from three for the game and shooting just 17% from the line. McNeese State holds on and wins it 80 to 75, the final. Every game is different and they came in with uh, uh, focus and not that we weren't focused. I don't know if we played so bad as well as they played really, really, really good. And, and when they had to make a play, they made it. And when we needed to make a play, we didn't. I mean, with any game, you don't have runs. And I think at the time, like the time was just running out and they started getting the runs at the right time and, and we couldn't score buckets and they, they were just scoring on us. Oh uh, man, I feel like uh, I lost somebody in my family. Yeah, that's how bad I feel. I got to go back home and, you know, look at all them people. But it's all right, it's a game. You win and you lose. So I'm all right. We got to get better as a team. You know, everybody wins, loses during the season. The bottom line is, is how you come back from this game. What is our attitude going to be tomorrow in practice? Because at the end of the day, even if we win on Wednesday, it still doesn't change what happened on Sunday. And we have to continue to learn from that going forward. So next up, Tech back at home on Wednesday night, hosting the University of Alabama, a 7 o'clock tip from the USA. For Texas Tech TV, I'm Brandon Rowdy.